Hey guys, long time no see. Uh, welcome back. This is the Scott Spot, and I'm Scott. You're watching The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Okay, so last time we sailed to the Forest Haven, which is some kind of giant tree rising out of the ocean. Uh, but first, let's find out more about it. Jump in our boat here. Uh, let's find Fishman. Get the island on our chart here. Oh, uh, where is that bastard? He's always uh, difficult to find at this place. I feel like he likes to hang out around here, but... Um... Yeah, so this place is pretty big. Uh, this is going to be where our next dungeon is. So, we're, we're going to be here for quite a while. Especially in comparison to Dragon Roost Island. Oh, uh, where the heck is that stupid fish? There he is. Alright. Let's find out what's going on on this island. Yeah, eat your stupid food, you dumb fish. Yeah, I just want you to draw on my chart. I really want to watch Link hold Fishman while he paints. That would be hilarious to me. Woo, the forest haven! Just a wee bit north of here on Balm Island, I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on its incredible girth. That's, uh, I'm not sure if that's promiscuous or offensive. Now what could he be doing on that lonely little isle? I'll tell you, there are some strange folk in the world, Fry. Well, that doesn't matter because, uh, you don't actually, he's not actually there if you go and check it out yet. I don't think that happens until significantly later in the game. Oh wait, I wasn't done yet. There's also a, uh, we have a treasure chart for this island. So let me see if I can find it real quick. Not there, not there, not there. Mm, that might be it. Treasure chart 31. Okay, you can't really see it because, um, the, it's so bright out here. Oh wait, I think I passed right over it just now. Yeah, see? Close. Come on, Link. Here we go. This should be right. Okay. What's it gonna be? Oh man. The excitement is killing me. It's actually a good prize, though. Piece of heart number nine. All right, that's just what we need. The more life we can get, the better. Get out of the way, beetle. You're lucky I don't sink your damn ship. All right, so now that we've spent like three minutes dicking around, let's uh, actually board this or explore this island. All right, so we've got a little bit of a an obstacle course to get inside the giant tree and we, here we've got a new enemy the Boko Baba it may remind you of the Deku Baba if you're familiar with the uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask you can they drop a uh, Boko Baba seeds which is a new spoil um, the only thing they're good for is making blue potion this is the source of the evil plant's magic perhaps if you can find someone to cook it up its magic can be unleashed oh that's coming so these guys can basically eat you, and the cool thing about them is when they die, they their stalks turn into a boko stick, which will come in handy more than once. Try not to forget to steal the seeds, but I want to try to get at least five before I move past this area. More bokos. I like their design in this, they're very colorful. And it, I'm not sure if it'll ever happen, and I'm not going to let it happen right now, but uh, their animation for eating Link is uh, pretty nice, or pretty well animated. So over there we have an Octorok, or uh, I guess a River Octorok would be a, a better statement. Oh, so you can knock those back at him, or you can use your shield to deflect it. I keep trying to use my grappling hook as a shield for whatever reason, because you know that's how it works. 
keep moving on. So I think that should have been five items. Uh, spoils bag. Yeah, yeah. Yep, five. Good enough for me. Jump on over. And... Oh crap. Take that. Yeah, you don't have to aim those at all. You just have to hit it back. And away we go. Hmm. I guess uh, more rippies would be good. Alright, in we go. So we are now inside the Forest Haven. Got some kind of giant grove area here. Oh, it's so mystical. So apparently this place is blessed according to our boat. The King of Red Lions. Gotta wade through this river to get anywhere though. Alright. Now what's going on over here? Wow. I guess that's the Deku tree. Oh no. God, he's ugly. Get out of here. So you have to roll into them to knock them all down. I think that might legitimately be one of the only times the roll attack is useful. If you take too long, uh, oh crap, I need to be careful. If you take too long, they all go back to the... Uh... Oh, so there's our first green chew jelly. You can use it to make green potions back at the potion shop. Uh, inside green choo choo, this is magical gelatinous essence, but it can't be used in its current form. So yeah, if you take too long, they get back on the Deku tree, like so. But you know, I'm way more concerned about getting all the jelly. I, I don't see the problem here. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't mind having a bunch of choo choos on my face. Apparently choo-choo is the sound that people make when they're kissing according to Fishman, so... Okay, maybe I should thin it out here. Or at least try to get rid of the red ones. Damn, they are kicking my ass. Ah! It doesn't really matter, because we're going to get way more... Um, ...true jelly than what we need anyway, before we're done with this area. But, uh... What can you do? Uh, so I think the green choo-choos are behave exactly like the red ones, so it's not a big deal. Um, did I miss one? I feel like I didn't get two jelly from all. I guess I did though. All right, guys, had enough of your shit. Oh, really? I hate that it makes you watch this every time too. Why are they so attracted to his face anyway? I like have an event of pimples. Come on! Okay. Yeah. Link's like, what the fuck? zip 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 Dude, what did you just say about my mom? I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. Why does the tree even have like one tooth anyway? Why is he so deformed? I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? How does he even know about him? Because I mean, they, he there's no way he's ever been outside. So it is true, and you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Crocs, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. 
Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. Were they up there the whole time? Were they just like hanging on and hiding while the choo choos were all over his face? Hmm. They really need to jump up high like that. Dude. What do you call yourself, Link? Well, I guess that was a Deku Tree talking. Well then, Link, these are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on human forms. But when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people. But to me, they will ever be my cherished little children. I'm drawing a lot of parallels between these guys and the Kokiri uh, from uh, Ocarina of Time. Being watched over by the Deku Tree in a forest. Apparently they used to be humans, so... As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Crocs hold that once every year. It is about to begin. I ain't got time for that. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. Why is it necessary? Do they need the pearl for the ceremony? I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate can befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? Look, we are not, oh great Deku Tree! Something terrible has happened! It is Makar! Makar! Oh great. This doesn't bode well. What is the matter, Linda? You and Makar are always late. Tisk tisk. N no it is not that, oh great Deku Tree! Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods! What? The Forbidden Woods? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure... I mean, that sounds like a good place. I told him to be careful, but still the car flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Mmm, Makar's getting a spanking. Link, you have heard all this. Please don't ask me to go save him. <laughs> the Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our forest haven. Those woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. Uh, it's a mistake, I swear. Just give me the pearl and I'll be on my way. <laughs> the King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. Actually, I'm just on for the ride. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? Ugh! 99 problems! But great day, Q-Tree! People cannot fly through the air! Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. You don't say. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Karak children. Yet I think we may still be able to solve this dilemma. Was that a fat joke? Rude. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly to the sky. Damn. It looks congested. Or constipated. <laughs> Oh, yeah, take that one single leaf. Are you okay, dude? Hm. Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? I guess. However, it's probably a good idea to save that for the next time. You will need magic power to use my leaf. You will find magic jars and grass clumps and vases and after you defeat mobsters. You must build up your reserves of magic power and use that leaf to fly from the high cliffs of my forest haven over to the Forbidden Woods. Alright, so yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Next time we will meet the rest of the Koroks and get the Deku leaf and who knows what else. Uh, so yeah, if you like the video hit the like button if you want to discuss it leave a comment i'll talk we uh reply to every comment and uh if you like the video hit subscribe uh so anyway thanks for watching and uh i'll catch you guys next time at the scott spot god you're ugly